Now that I set up this camera to talk to you guys, trust me, I don't have something in particular to say. I know I have a whole lot of things I want to say to you, but I don't even know where to start from because I don't remember the last time I came here. I don't remember the last thing I said to you when I came here. Everything is just very scattered, but let's just get into the video. I can taste you, 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 you. I can taste you, 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 you. Welcome and welcome back to my space. My name is Chidi Mike I am a YouTuber based in Ibado. I am also a CV writer. I do LinkedIn optimization, cover letter writing, statement of purpose. Basically, a whole lot of writing services that you may need. Please do well to check out my page, ICJ Writing Services. ICJ Writing Services on Instagram, also on Facebook. Yes, you can contact me through that medium. So guys, hmm, where do I start from? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe so that this channel can be bringing money. I think the major reason I even ran away from this channel is because it wasn't bringing money. But the writing was bringing some money. Hello? That's why I had to face it anyways. Ha ah, guys, you guys know that Chidima has always been the workaholic that likes to that has always had a nine to five job and then when I moved out to Ibado, the nine to five jobs or eight to five jobs were not forthcoming, so I had to set up my business and then basically start dealing with it. So this was like my first real experience of owning a business, like being responsible for your business, doing the marketing, the sales, ensuring that the money comes in, ensuring that there's visibility on your page, your social media pages. I've never done social media management before. I just used to have my own personal page where I post pictures and when I'm feeling so happy, I post fine pictures. And when I feel like I'm looking ugly, I just delete the pictures. But in this case, I, find, I found myself having to be consistent on social media, like basically putting now sales posts every day this is something that a full-fledged organization could do they have their social media management team or brand management team they have their marketing team they have their sales team they have basically different units in their organization to carry out different functions and then i found myself one person doing everything at the same time several times i would just break down and then i had the issue of dealing with problematic clients or customers like those ones that will call you and be like i'm paying you now i want this to be ready in two hours and you're like no like there's a timeline for delivery four working days and they're like no 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 you tell them to pay extra for that and they're not willing to so dealing with problematic customers was like is like a major thing i am going through right now because it's a continuous process it's not just something that is one off and then it goes this one is like on a daily basis the most recent one I had to do with is a client that called me like some days back and said she needed me to write an academic reference letter for her, which I did. I told her to pay extra. So in total, she was supposed to pay 6500 But then again, she paid 3000 naira, And I told her, you can't pay 3000 naira. I don't know you. You are not referred to me by someone that I know. So there's no way you can do part payments. You have to pay in full. And then she sent me a screenshot of something that looks like a payment receipt of the balance of the 3000 she paid. But that money never came in till today. And then after writing this letter for this lady, she goes like, Oh, I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. You're supposed to write it on a letterhead. Basically, she wanted me to print a letterhead for her, like forge a letterhead and then type that on it. And I told her, I don't, I don't forge people's um, letterheads. It's not something that we do in, at ICJ Writing Services. And then she got angry and she's like, oh, you must refund me your money. On a normal day, I won't have answered that auntie because we have a no refund policy. But anyways, I went ahead and I refunded her the 3,000 Naira that I saw. But the balance of 3,500 that never came to me, she kept on sending me messages. She, she was trolling me on social media to send her the balance of 3,500 Naira and I just blocked her because, I mean, I can only refund what I saw. And that's just different. Another thing I've been dealing with when it comes to managing clients is the fact that I know a lot of people. We have like a relationship or we have friendships such that because I know such people one-on-one, -on -one, they expect that I should do their jobs without payment. So it's like, go ahead and do it and I'll pay you. And because of the relationship I have with these people, I'll just go ahead and just do the services, do the jobs for them, trusting that they will pay me at the right time. And then they get to take advantage of that fact that we know each other like one-on-one -on -one, and then they don't pay and then they stretch the payments. I recently had to deal with one like some days back where guy he didn't pay for like almost two months and when i reached out to someone who knows him to tell him to pay up he got angry and started sending me nasty messages which i didn't respond to and i ended up blocking him too so in this business trust me it's not all rosy i see some people sending me messages and saying oh chidima you own a business you're robust the money is coming in you're just you're chilling hmm. 
let me tell you the ugly side that nobody tells you there are times when normal people will be sleeping on their beds at night but Chitima will sleep with one eye closed and one eye open and I'm like hey I'm not on this person's CV I've not written this person's SOP I've not written this person's academic CV oh I have to wake up and go and do it like I will literally not sleep properly because I know that I have some deliverable so I find myself at midnight like a witch with a computer in my front and I'm busy typing and writing and then in the morning one auntie will chat me and be like ah, you're enjoying you know? What kind of enjoyment is this? Can we switch places? Come and take this enjoyment of not sleeping at night. It's been, it's been really, really, really tough. And next thing, I had to employ hands. I had to do a training where I had to recruit people to work with me. So I got three people to work with me. Out of the three people that I hired, two were totally not useful to me. They just kept on making so many errors and I was really patient with them. I would keep correcting them, correcting them, correcting them. They're still making the same mistakes and I'm like, okay, maybe it's actually time for you guys to go. Maybe you guys do not have a flair for writing and that's fine really. You don't force something you don't have. So that's how those two had to go and I was left with one person. Recently, I got another addition to my team. So the three of us now working together and I'm looking to hire more writing more writers to join my team so if you are open to it please just uh, send an email to the email address on the screen maybe somewhere around here or here to apply to work with me as a writer please i need experienced people i don't need people who are still learning it is so critical at this point of my career that i don't have the energy to start teaching and training people please i really want experienced people only thank you so much Anyways guys, I knew that this video was going to be a rant somehow I just knew that it was going to be a rant but guys pardon me like you guys have not seen me in like months And then I come back with more and more rants and I'm sure my last video was a rant <laughs> guys um, it's, it's really been tough and I don't know somehow somehow I survived it then I had to deal with people that would be like oh I got people that would do it for me cheaper you're too expensive and I'm like what? For the value, for the kind of value that I give, I know that I'm not too expensive. I know that my services are actually within industry standards. So I don't even pay attention to such ones. And then there are times my husband will tell me that, oh, you're charging them too cheap. Like, don't you compare with other writers and see what they charge? I think you're really too cheap. And I was like, okay, maybe that's true. Maybe I should actually increase my price and then see what is going to be what the reaction is going to be like so definitely i'll have people that will come into my inbox and be like oh it's so expensive and then maybe one day after after they've gone around and come back they'll be like yeah yeah expensive but i'll still pay for it just go ahead and do it so it's been it's been lovely on one side it's also been stressful on the other side so eventually i decided that i'm going to close for the year on the 15th of december that is this month and when i made that announcement and i put it on instagram you need to see the reactions i was getting how would you close by 15th it's so early and then everybody came out from all the places that they've been hiding and spying on me from they just came out and they started placing orders oh i want this oh i want this oh i want that and i'm like the way these jobs are coming in because today is supposed to be like the last day of work today is a uh, friday the 10th of december today is supposed to be the last day but you see this today that i'm talking to you do you know how many people have sent messages placing orders for different things and if i were to attend to all these things one by one we'll probably it will probably spill into january that's how serious it is and that's because of course everybody is processing their study abroad plans that's why the influx of um, sop requests is so much so if you're one of those people who is trying to travel abroad and you need an SOP, you know I am your plug, but please, till next year. If you're not sending it today, please don't send it in tomorrow. Today is literally the last day, and I mean it. See these eyes you're looking at? I've not slept so well in like... If I say I've not slept well in weeks, will you guys believe me? I don't know if you guys will believe me, but basically, my sleep is always one kind. Like, I sleep like... No, I can't say I sleep like a baby. What do you use to describe someone who doesn't sleep very well, who is always alert, like every little pin, every sound, every pin that drops, the person gets to wake up and the person is literally always alert. That's the way I sleep now, but really, I want to start sleeping like a normal person. That's why we're closing this early. So guys, bear with me, bear with us, bear with the ICJ Writing Services team. If nobody else tells us that we have tried, me, I can personally say that we have tried, we have done well, we've really done well this year. Like this the increase the influx of all these requests and jobs really started in october 
I think it was October, the many people realized that, okay, January intake, like, um, people who want to resume to their schools abroad in January, like, they just have limited time. So from October, everybody started, like, a whole lot of people. If I, let me tell you something. That your neighbor, neighbor that's living close to you, yeah, you think that person is not about to travel. It's a lie. They're all trying to travel. Forget that. The person is just complaining with you. Oh, Nigeria is so bad. Oh, yes, we're suffering. Excuse you. They're processing their study abroad plans. So don't even think that, oh, y'all are in the same situation. And y'all are managing Nigeria. It's a lie. Do you know what is good for you? Better send a message. Not, not this year, next year, to me. So that we can start writing your SOP and your academic CVs, your normal CVs. You basically, references, academic references, um, professional references, all those services. Yes, we offer all those services. So please just do not forget to send me a message on Instagram at dema.ibinadion. That's my Instagram name. Oh yeah, I also have another story about how I got hacked. Should I tell you in this video or should I leave it for another video? Anyway, let me just make it very short. So on the 26th of November, I got uh, an email, a login notification basically. I got to see that there was a login to my account from Port Harcourt from an Infinix device. I don't use an Infinix phone, so definitely it wasn't me. Immediately I saw it, I remembered that there was this lady that posted something about her account trying to be hacked. Someone was trying to log into her account and she had to rush and change her password. I saw that on Instagram. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, they've come for me. So I rushed to Instagram immediately to try and change my password. As I got to Instagram, they just told me that, oh, you no longer have access to this account and the owner has changed the password. I was like, hey, I tried to do a password reset. The person had also changed my telephone number, so there was no way I could get, in, get into the account. So this person was also sending messages to my contacts my followers telling them to click on the link apparently my account got hacked because i clicked on the link too that someone sent to me i don't even know when i saw that link at first i ignored it and i moved on but then i was like this person it's weird she hardly sent stuff like this maybe it's actually genuine and that was how i clicked on it and that's how my account was hacked so this person was going for my followers, went to my mom, my sister, my husband, my friends, everybody. Like, so many people were sending me notifications. They were like, oh, Chidema, someone is sending us links. Were you hacked? I was like, yes, yeah, so them hack your girl. They hacked my account, and that was how they carried the account to go. And the one was pinning me about that account is that I was actually going for some deals with some people, and then they just yanked it away from my hands and uh, it was really annoying but that's fine i was just very grateful that they didn't get to my business account so i had to open a new account dima.ibinadion as you can see on the screen that's my new instagram account if you guys do not follow me already please go ahead and follow my account my instagram account and um we can take it up from there so guys it really feels weird doing this video like i haven't seen you guys in a while <laughs> it feels awkward i feel like i'm even talking too fast maybe it will take a while for me to get used to this again but anyways it's good to see you guys faces even though i can't say literally and it's good for you guys to see my face i know you guys have missed me if you haven't subscribed please subscribe turn on your bell notifications so that you get alerts when i post new videos and until i see you next time it's bye for now Bye.